There are big challenges in traffic. Congestion, exhaust that threatened the climate, parked cars where we could have done other things. One solution is automated vehicles without driver. They can improve safety since computers are good at crash avoidance. Reduce energy by efficient driving. Make it easier to park since the vehicles can drive themselves and find a parking place. Self-driving vehicles can help many different users. People without a driving license doesn't need help from others. Teenagers can go by themselves to and from their sports activities. Parents can concentrate on their children instead of the traffic. Commuters can read the paper and answer mail on their way to work. Our demands are many and different. But if we, with the self-driving cars, should continue our current behavior and travel alone, there will be more, not less traffic on the streets, since also our empty cars will be driving around. In shared services and as a complement to public transport, self-driving vehicles could be really useful. For example, by using smaller vehicles in areas where normal buses are ineffective or running empty. If we share the vehicles, there will be less traffic, less congestion and exhaust, less parking, but more space for other activities. Already today, there are solutions where we give our current position and destination to an app and get back a suggested travel route and price. In the future, many user demands will be taken into account and effectively matched with a fleet of several different vehicle types. The aim is that your travel should be the best, while at the same time the environmental footprint should be as small as possible. To achieve this, travel demand and resources must be matched effectively. Self-driving vehicles are already here, and the technique is evolving fast. To develop right and to make the future we want, there are questions we need to work with in parallel with the technique. How can supply and demand be matched effectively? Will people's travel behavior change? What does business models look like? What is a good mobility service? What are the socio-economic effects? How can we create a sustainable transport system? At Integrated Transport Research Lab at KTH, Royal Institute of Technology, we are working with these types of questions. It is us together that create the future transport systems. And right now there's an excellent opportunity to create a transport system that works both for us and for our planet and future generations.